I think uh, we respect the presence. They are a very good team. The results have shown recently that they are not easy uh, to beat, especially at home. Um, of course, it's not a lot of uh, training for us. It's uh, more about recovery. We had a very intense match against Younger uh, on a wet pitch uh, that uh, gives the fatigue level uh, slightly higher. We only had two days uh, to prepare. Uh, so we give them the respect, but we know we've come here with a job to do, and our job is to be able to collect three points, and uh, we respect them, uh, but uh, it's a match we have to win. Uh, the way you see your results here, the way you start from the uh, league, uh, you win, uh, best of, uh, best of support, maybe 3-0, you win 4 uh, against the uh, but the way you two matches in last year, you and then you lose. The way you see your performance of the how is it? Yeah, very, very good. I think a very good start, a very good, uh, very good match against uh, Young as well. Of course, a match uh, like that, uh, you don't want to be emotional uh, after the game. That is why immediately I said, uh, let me not comment on the, the penalty. It looked like a penalty. But of course, uh, uh, if you review it and you look back at it, uh, you can clearly see that uh, it's two penalties that should have been given. It's two uh, yellow cards that could have resulted in second yellow cards. And of course, you uh, think about solution-based. What do you do? It's no use crying over the last result. But the league definitely needs a VAR. I think it definitely will improve the league, it will improve the standards of uh, decisions and crucial decisions in, in, in crucial matches uh, that can decide outcomes. Uh, so definitely uh, uh, Tanzanian football needs uh, VAR. I'm not um, talking down on the referees, but it's normal. That other parts of Africa, other parts of Europe have already started implementing and will definitely improve the gaming. Good uh, uh, front four. Um, sometimes playing with two strikers, sometimes with one. They're very flexible in their formation. Now they start the game with a certain formation and immediately in the game suddenly changing. So they're quite flexible in terms of how they set up. Uh, they've been quite successful in the, in the last match and how they've changed the system. And probably uh, it's something that you've got to look into. Um, but yes, it's a, it's a game we, we give them the respect. They've got a good coach. We've got uh, good players, especially in the upfront part, and we'll be ready for. We've analysed them in detail. We know which areas we want to use. We know which areas we have to uh, close, not to give them the space, not to give them the situation that they can come into our half, into our box. Uh, and once we do that, uh, close their spaces and, and dominate the game and play the game where we want to play it, uh, we have a bigger chance of not allowing them any shots at goal and a bigger chance of scoring. Yes, of course, we saw uh, Hamza uh, that has gone off uh, in the last match as well as Kogoma. Those are definitely out. Uh, the other players we will uh, check, of course, is uh, we haven't trained yet. It was just recovery yesterday and today uh, we have a match. There minus one session we will be able to see which players are already. I said Kagoma and Hamza that came off in the last match, so they are both uh, out for the match. Coach, I've been talking about uh, having VAR and in Kazan. Uh, we know that this is uh, the fifth best league in Africa. How does it affect your team and the league itself? No, it will definitely improve uh, the decisions. The referees uh, are human beings, they cannot always get everything right, although you are sometimes five, ten meters away uh, and you tell telling Kibu to stand up. Uh, um, these decisions can be corrected uh, by just stopping, going, checking VAR, and 100% of the VAR gives us a penalty. 100% of the VAR gives us a yellow card. Um, so we know that uh, we've seen it in other uh, leagues. We've seen it in Morocco last season uh, and the season before with, with VAR correcting, deciding crucial moments in the last minute. Sometimes it's the pressure of the fans where referee, uh, uh, sometimes the referee has his biases in terms of certain players thinking that he's diving. But when you review it, you can see it's clearly fouled. And these things will improve uh, getting more decisions right than wrong. So it's not about uh, stamping on the referees. Everyone is human. But uh, VAR will definitely uh, fix all decisions in relation to getting more right than wrong.
No, we, we, we definitely not this season, but you know, me, I'd like, I'd like to see the development of football. And the development of football, you might not get it now, you might get it next season. Uh, there might be a, a intervention that VAR is suddenly implemented. You never know in, in football how funds become available because it's, a, it's an expensive uh, exercise. It's not just uh, somebody snapping their finger and there's VAR. There's a lot of uh, strategies and uh, uh, training that has to be done. But for the improvement of football on the whole, and, and Africa has got to get up to the standards of Europe, that's clear. Uh, it's not yet in South Africa as well. <laughs> There's a big cry for it there as well. And, uh, you know, you need to get it in professional leagues that uh, will improve the game definitely, bring us closer to the highest standards of football in the world. You know, uh, in, in victories you learn, you grow, but in defeat that is where you grow the most. And it's a young team. It's a team that have to make the mistakes to be able to grow. There are a lot of things that went wrong in terms of conceding the goal. It's not one uh, aspect. There are a lot of aspects that happened before. So uh, when you analyze it, where you go through it, where you take the pain of such defeats, uh, you grow as a team. And we know we're only the, in week 15, now week 16 of this project. And uh, 15 new players coming together and gelling and trying to find the right combination. Uh, defeats like the last one, uh, will help the team grow and I'm extremely confident I think Simba fans can be really excited for what we are building for what's to come uh, we're not even 40 50 percent of our potential and that's scary to to be able to to think about that when we reach close to 80 percent 90 percent of the players potential and building them into a unit building them into a team that uh, is really uh, upon its completion phase. Uh, it's really scary to understand how powerful Simba is really going to be.